remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Florida strikes again. An anti-Trump Florida construction worker stabbed his Trump-loving boss to death. And then he draped an American flag over his body. Both of the men, Mason Tony and William Knight, was 28 years old. Knight was described as an outspoken American who was pro-Trump. And Tony was described as anti-government, who was very outspoken in his beliefs that the government is bad and was out to get him. On the day of the murder, Knight had picked up Tony for work, and they were driving to different job sites when they started to argue, workers at the Florida Turnpike construction site in Metro Orlando said. When they arrived at the site, workers heard Knight yelling for help near the excavator. Now, check this out, fam. These two guys had a lot in common. They were both 28 years old. They were both construction workers. They were both very outspoken. They were both longtime friends. That one thing they could not get over was their political differences. One was anti-government, one was pro-Trump, which is really anti-government also. But anyway, oh man, that move right there just destroyed two families tenfold because these are families that know each other. Man, can you imagine the fallout? Trump, boy, I tell you, that casino worker, he finds all kinds of ways to bring out the worst in people. Yeah, I call him a casino worker. That's all he is. He's really not a real estate guy. You know, he's, he's just, you know, he gets his money in real estate or whatever. But, you know, his daddy did all of that. He, he really just a gambler, you know, because every way he goes, he leaves a trail of financial blood. Nobody makes money with him. He's the only one to get the money. Leave everybody else holding the bag. Cold game, y'all. Let me tell you something. You know, you know, I got a few buddies, man, that be jumping on that other thing. And I'm going to tell you, we just agreed to disagree. It's as simple as that. They're very passionate about their position. I'm very passionate about mine. But I'm not about to kill somebody because they like a certain person that I don't in a, in a political party. This dude was not a Democrat. That's for all you people that's saying, well, another Democrat. He was not a Democrat. He was anti-government period. He didn't like any politics. Anti-government. What did he say to him? Like, what did he actually do? These guys, 28 years old, they're, they've been lifelong friends. So they've had many, 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 many arguments. I wonder what exactly what was said this time. It had to be something. It had to be it had to be something major for him to cross that line. Mason Tony eventually hopped into a white pickup truck and took off. After a brief chase by the police, he crashed the vehicle and they took him into custody. He is now being held in jail without bond on murder. Man, man, man. Another day in the USA. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?